Hello everyone. Today I am at the Indian Hill Cemetery. It was established in 1860. I've been here before. I was actually here with um, Angie, your green-eyed angel, and Jesse's Histories and Jesse's Paranormal Adventures. It was actually Jesse's Histories and Mysteries at the time that we came here. And if you remember correctly, over here in this corner, we saw a bear. And I don't know, I think that I think the bear is what scared us and we ran to our car. We just wanted to get the hell out of there. Anyways, this place is pretty creepy. I know that up here in this corner, up in the front, that I got some really good EVPs at one time. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm going to do the spirit box. I might go back to that section and try and do spirit box again. Um, but let's go into the cemetery. Okay, guys. So this grave up here in the corner is the one that I got some good spirit box on. Um, I'm trying to think of which one it was. I don't know if it was. I think it might have been Charlie. It might have been that last one. Um... Not for positive, but I think it might have been that the Charlie. Or maybe it was this one here. Who's this one here? This is Lily. No, I don't remember it. Maybe it was this Charlie. I don't know. We'd have to look back. But anyways, I want to do, I want to walk around in the cemetery a little bit and take you guys for a walk. I don't know if I've ever looked at that little, see that little pedestal thing down there? Wonder what that is. I don't know if I've ever been down there. I'm out running around today by myself, guys. Um, I hit up another cemetery and um, just to get a few videos so I don't run out of footage for you guys, you know, fresh new footage. Um, I figure if I'm by myself and I'm in my own car and I don't stop anywhere, I'll be okay. Okay, so it says, okay. I don't know if you can see it. It says Indian Hill Cemetery property donated by James J. Knight, Julius C. Knight, September 11th, 1891. Andrew Knight, Francis V. Knight, November 19th, 1975. Oh, wow. So this was probably another piece of farmland or a plantation. They gave a lot because this one's pretty big. Um, and I believe across the street there is more graves going in down that way. So um, a lot of land was donated for this. That's amazing. So this was at once another farmland. Somebody does kind of take care of this. I know down um, that way beyond where we saw the bear that time is not doesn't look like it's mowed, you know. And it could just be because it's been winter here for a while, and now it's starting to. I don't know. It's been pretty warm, so I don't know. Winters in Florida, you know, you might have one month that's really really cold, and then it's not that cold. It's not that cold in Florida. Anyways, check this place out. If there's any spirits here that want to communicate, they can talk right into my camera. I love it when we get whispers, guys, because that is confirmation that spirits are here. They all have pictures. pretty peaceful here today this is the place guys that I was telling the spirits to go into the light and I swear they were coming towards us I think they were trying to go into our lights because we were here at night um, because it you could hear the like shuffling that someone was coming towards us it was so crazy I gotta be careful for ticks I had that one tick on me guys and um, just recently, Angie had three ticks on her. It's like, holy cow. Look at these tombstones. Now, these look like beds. I mean, I wonder if that was a design, if they designed it to look like beds. 
Look at the cross is knocked over. See, that's sad because it's like that, that that grave will disappear and nobody, you know, right in here, nobody will even know who it is. Wow. Oh, look, somebody just got a new tombstone. She probably didn't have one because she died. Oh, well, that ain't brand new. She died in 29. They got her a tombstone in 78. Wow. She might have had one of them crosses. But that that one back there that's knocked over, that's going to be a un, that's going to be a forgotten grave eventually. I mean, look in between here. If you look in between here, if that's a grave here to here and there to there, what's right there and there and there and down here too. You know, are there actually bodies buried there or are they just not no graves. I don't know. That's how graves... Like, look at all these crosses. Now, I don't know if they did uh, radar up in here, and that's what the crosses are for. I'm not positive on that. Um, it kind of... It, it could be, because they got the cross, and they got the footstone. So that would mean that the casket's from, from there to here. So it could be that they did that. I'd have to look it up and see if they did radar here. Or one of you guys could look it up if you want. Look, see that that post is out of the ground. It's going to be another, for, you know, even if they did the radar, it's going to be a forgotten grave. Wow. This might be from here to there. Oh, wow. I think that they, you know, when they, when they put these things in the ground, they need to cement them things in the ground so that nobody can take them away. There's one laying right there against that against that tombstone probably belongs back here somewhere it is so important and I know back in the day people couldn't afford tombstones and they just got buried and thought oh I'll get them a tombstone later and later never comes um, you know usually later never comes or that person that said they were going to get it later passed away um, it's so important even if you can't afford a tombstone to try to try to get try to take up donations try to get someone to help you um, be grateful if somebody helps you because you know I understand people don't have money to just throw away but if somebody offers to help you be grateful that they help you wow it's pretty peaceful here today it really is pretty peaceful And we need to look up, like, back in the day, you know, like, tombstones like that. Are they, were they replicas of a bed? Because that is exactly what it looks like, is a bed. And, um, oh, I feel like stuff's on me. I hate to get up underneath the tree. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like they are. Or a crib. But I'm sure it's an adult there, so probably like a, of a bed. Wow. This one right here has got like a little wood bench. I like cemeteries like this that let you bring stuff out. Because there's so many of them that are so, so picky. They're so expensive to be buried in. And, you know, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. And it's, it's your family's grave. You own that spot. Why should, you should be allowed to do whatever you want. It's my opinion. But my opinion don't count. Okay, guys. So let's take a walk down here and find us some place to do spirit box that's not under a tree how about that <laughs> so that the ticks don't jump on me I know they could jump from the grass too but there's not a, you know there's a lot of sand here is this a child look at this Mac it says M I can't tell MCC Mac something. It was a homemade. Now this is a homemade too. And it's not readable. I have been saying for 
a while now that every body should be buried with a toe tag, which I, oh shit, I thought I seen somebody over there. I think it was that blue thing on the um, hanging or something. Oh goodness. Okay, so everybody should be buried with a toe tag. But you know what now I'm thinking up? Um, every coffin should have a tag on it saying who's, who's in it. Because what if they had to dig up? You know, they're not going to want to open the coffin. It should be on the outside of the coffin. It should be the name of the person. Definitely. Look at this. This like father and mother. This puts them together with a little archway. Wonder who came up with that. I keep hearing stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I keep hearing stuff. It's crazy. All right, so these look like they're children. 26 to 28. Oh, they are. Oh, my goodness. 16 to 16. Baby Bennett. There's another baby Bennett in 1921. Infant, 1909. Oh, gosh. I get such a heavy feeling when I hit, when I hit, when I walk up upon children's graves. It just, it, it, it breaks my heart. And I get such a heavy feeling in my chest. It's just so sad. Look at this one. Now, they got a new one. Ah, oh, he's military. Yeah, he should have had a new one. Um, I'm glad that they hang on to the old one. Wow. Gone but not forgotten. I just keep getting this heavy feeling, guys. I don't know if that means that I'm supposed to stop and do spirit box there, or... I don't know. Right, let's walk over here. There's some more. <gasps> oh! Oh, man, I didn't see that, and I almost tripped over that. Pick your damn feet up, Marie. Look at that one. Did we ever see that one before? I don't remember. I'm sure we did. Sacred to the memory of James R. C-O-U-S-A-R? Cussar? Wow, I don't know if I remember seeing that. I'm sure I did, though. I always say that, and it's been a while since I've been here. And I'm very forgetful. Some of these really need some help. Look at the th two extra stones there. Like, where do they belong? Do they belong back here? For graves back here? Because if you see, there's stones laying around. I guess if the mower guys seen them lay, they probably just laid them there. That's crazy. Oh, let's see what this is. These look new. Now, I don't... I don't have a clue if these... These are new. These are marker grave. Um... Wow. Yeah, these are definitely marker grave ones. Somebody came out and um, did this. And I don't, I honestly don't think these were here the last time. So somebody made a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of them, guys. Oh, there's one back here, too. Ten. But there's nine of them. That have that same last name on them. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. So somebody, I guess you know that one looks like it's sinking down in. This one here is falling apart. I guess they figured they better get it here quick before these graves are gone. 
maybe they don't know exactly the first name of the person or the death date and stuff like that. They just know that that was their their last name. Oh, that's pretty cool though. Now there's one back here. Somebody else got one back here. This is Woolard. Look, she still had her name, the tag. Um, so they knew. Somebody did a project here, I think. Unless it was family, it looks like somebody did, like, you know, went around and did. Yeah, it's probably their family, because there's a couple other ones. What the hell was that? All right, that's something in the tree. I heard something up there. Hope I locked my car. All my stuff's in the car. It won't even let me push the button. But I did hear something back there. <laughs> Why won't it let me push the button? There it goes. Okay, guys. So that's pretty cool. Those are definitely Marker Graves. That's what we did at... Sa I think her name was Sandra. I think Sandra's grave. All right. So I was walking back forward to... Back up this way to um, do spirit box. And somehow I spotted those and came down here. So let's go back up here. And... Um, something in that tree let's go back up this way you can see a wild animal jumping down at me from a tree that would be crazy oh lord that would be so crazy okay this cemetery is I felt really peaceful but I kept feeling something and now I keep hearing noises from out from afar like I heard something up in here I don't know where it was but I heard something up in there and that's where I parked. Dang. Okay, so that's okay. We're gonna go right up in here and we are going to I'm not getting under a tree if I can help. Look at those old trees. All right, guys. So let's go. Let's go right up here to one of these that looks like a bed. Let's do this one. What do you guys think? Do we know? Do we have a name? Let's see if we have a name. If we know who it is. That's sad. Oh, okay. So there are. Wow, you can't read it. That's really sad. Here's a name on this one. Oh, you can kind of see it. This one's Dave. Dave can't. And what does this one say? Let's see. It looks like this one says can't, too. All right, what the hell am I hearing? Okay. All right, so let's do Dave. Let's go on Dave's grave. And let's see if we can... um communicate with Dave okay guys I'm gonna put this down here on this part of the grave so that maybe we'll block some wind probably not okay here goes the spirit box guys oh wow do you guys want to go this way so you can I'm hearing so many different noises it's crazy okay so there you go I'm gonna leave you set up and um, I'm gonna turn the spirit box on okay guys here we go hello there my name is Marie I come in peace are there any spirits here that want to communicate. Right now we are at a Dave K 
can't spray. Is Dave here with us? Dave, are you here with us? Oh, let me move it down here so you guys can hear it better. Hello. Is your name Dave? like in heaven. When you go to heaven, can you look down and see your loved ones in, on earth? bird like came right up he's in that tree now what's it like in heaven Wait, what do you do in heaven? right here with us. Can you give me a number? Guys, I hear so much stuff coming through faintly. 
Thank you for talking with us. Can you tell us bye? Rest in peace. Bye. Wow, guys. I kept hearing so many things coming through faintly. Now, when I say faintly, I don't have earbuds in. You know, the wind's blowing out here. Um, so it is hard to hear when you're out in the cemetery. When I listen back with earbuds, sometimes it's easy to hear it. Sometimes it's not. But there was a big old black vulture that come over and come right about here. And then he's in that tree somewhere. Or he might have flew away just a second ago. That's pretty creepy. I wonder if the spirit box calls the animals. I hear dogs or something barking that way. I wonder if the spirit box calls the animals. Isn't that crazy? Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments below if you heard something on the spirit box that I did not hear. And um, I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear your face mask when you're in public. Bye guys.